advantage of working for a private investigator. I just have to run by my house and change. Uh, Stella, I wanted to spend the weekend by myself. You know? In that case, I'll answer the phone. Probably a wrong number anyway. Well, since I'm already awake, I think I'll get an early start. Right on right down to that old pier. Oh, uh, did you forget you don't have a car anymore? Oh, yes, the uh, friendly finance company got me again. Sure you don't want to change your mind? It's a long walk to the pier. Well, in case whoever that was calls back, tell them I want uh, front money. Cash on the line, eh, Charlie? That's right, Stella. Cash on the line. Tell me, boy genius, till you get some cash, how do you plan to get to your precious little boat? A 
Okay, you've got my name, Charlie Smith. Now here it is, 7.32 in the morning, and I'm tired and I'm cold. If I had any brains at all, I'd be back there with Stella. But man, she is just so unreal. I mean, who ever heard of a chick waking up and looking like that? Not a hair out of place. I like a funky bro to let you know what a really rotten night's sleep she's had. Well, someday I'll make it and I'll have the finer things. In the meantime, I get by in the necessary luxuries. Take my boat, for example, the Rogue. That's my security thing. It lets me say to myself, I'm a lousy private detective with a lousy little sailboat. But it gives me class. And you know, nobody outside of Stella knows I've got her stashed here. Nobody comes around and nobody bothers me. No finance company's gonna get this one. They got Charlie's wheels, but they're not gonna get Charlie's little sailboat. Good morning. I'm looking for a Mr. Charles Smith. What do you want him for? I have to see him in person. It's quite private. I'm Charlie Smith. What is it? Uh, I have lost someone. I want you to find her. $2,000 now. One more on delivery. Who are you? Harris Ferguson. What's so important that you want to spend three grand to find her? Her name is Carrie Erskine. You may call me at this number when you find her, and only then. I didn't say I was going to do it. You have exactly three days. And one thousand dollars per day. Well, I'm going to need some information. It's all here. Remember, exactly three days. Three days, three thousand dollars. Okay, where have you heard that one before? Well, it looks like real money at least. And the elusive Carrie Erskine seems dangerous enough to be fun. What the hell, why not? Fritz the photographer is the first name to contact on the list. So Charlie, go find Fritz. See Fritz snap his pictures. Ask Fritz nice questions about the dangerous Miss Erskine. What am I really doing out here? I'll tell you. Fritz takes pictures of fast girls and fast cars. So where is he? Maybe this is Fritz, maybe not. No, I think not. This one is Moose. Moose knows where Fritz is, but Moose is saying zero. That's what I like about people. They bend over backward to help each other. Sir, my name is Mr. Charlie Smith. I've come to repossess the race car. Nah, no, nah, they wouldn't believe me. A lot of my very best professional decision-making is just playing hunches. So since Fritz isn't on the flats, then he must be in the woods. Now when old Charlie gets on the trail, he's not turning back till he gets his man, or his woman. I've got to earn my thousand dollars a day from that uh, Mr. Harris Ferguson. So now just watch how I work here and, and kind of take notes. Because I'm only going to do it once. Fritz? Yeah, I'm uh, Fritz. Yeah. I'm uh, Charlie Smith. Yeah, well, congratulations. Um, well, we only hire female models around here. Why don't you try one of the agencies in town? <laughs> That's all right. Look, I was told you might be able to help me find a girl by the name of Carrie Erskine. Carrie Erskine? Yeah, I, I understood that she what used to... What do you want with her? Well, I understand she used to work for you, and I've got a friend yeah, that... she used to... Well, I've got a friend that would like to hire her. What is he? Photographer or something? Well, yeah. Now, you know where I could find her? Uh-uh. Come on, Fritz. I want to go home. It's cold. Are you sure you don't know I, where I'm positive. Believe me, I'm positive. Well, I, I don't know I was told she used to... thing about Carrie Erskine. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got one, two, three girls working over here. We're all on overtime, and... It... Now, can you tell me where I can find her? She used to have a roommate named uh, Carol, Carol Hollister. They lived in a little white house. Yeah, it's about, about a mile down the road. It's over on the left. You can go over there. Uh, Carol Hollister. Yeah, you might a, be able to find her. A mile down the left, uh, white yeah, house. The white house. White house. Thanks, Rick. Right. Yeah, well, you know, same deal. 
You should have told him Frankie Roberts is there. You know how Frankie hates to be disturbed. Ain't no way, baby. You get nothing for nothing. Please. a mile down the road, right on cue. Carol Hollister. Sounds like a real winner. I hope I won't be intruding on her beauty rest. You go find out who it is. Wait a minute. Don't open the door. Hmm. Could be she's away on a trip, I suppose. Yes? Carol Hollister? She's gone. She's not here anymore. I'm actually looking for Carrie Erskine. Ah, I was told you might know where I could find her. I don't know anybody by that name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't help. Well, what about Carol Hollister then? I'm sorry I, I can't help you. Thanks. Don't I deserve something for getting rid of the guy? Yeah, baby, you're gonna get yours. Sweet water and sunshine. Get me my case. In advance? Uh-huh. And he promised me another thousand when I find her. So he must want that Carrie Erskine awfully bad. Yep. You weren't gone 20 minutes this morning before he called. I wasn't at the boat 10 minutes before he showed up. I said, Mr. Ferguson, Mr. Smith will not see you unless you put cash on the line. Well, here it is. And for being such a good girl, why don't you take a couple hundred and go shopping? I'll see you Monday morning. I want to check out a few more names in this list. Okay, Charlie. But you be careful now. Extra careful. See you Monday morning. You don't have it. You gotta have it. I gotta have the junk sold already. I'm sorry. Somebody stole it. Hey, what are you trying to pull? Nothing. It's gone, and that's all there is to it. Well, who could have took it? I don't know. Uh, suppose I tell Ferguson and Big Mac where to find you. 
How would you like me to tell Ferguson and Big Mac that you were in it with me? Well, you're the one they're looking for. Well, they won't find me. Maybe they won't, but Charlie Smith will. Charlie Smith? Who's Charlie Smith? Yeah, you don't know, do you? He's the snoop that Ferguson hired to track you down. Oh, is that so? You double crosser! You're lying to me! What a bust her back! Oh, hey, now blow your head off. You do that to me? To me? Just say goodbye, Brett. Okay. Goodbye, Brett. You are going to hear from me, Curry! You hear? You're going to hear! Carrie Erskine. Carrie Erskine. I've never heard of her. I think I'm beginning to hear her. Come on, Wakel, do you know her? Yeah, yeah, I know Carrie. Well, then when was the last time you saw her? I saw her about three weeks ago. She's with a man called Big Mac. Big Mac? Yeah, Big Mac. They call him Big Mac. He's a... One of the big men in Seneca. Now, how do I find him? Well, he's got a pool hall down on Hollywood Boulevard in Bronx, and uh, pretty sure you can get in touch with him there. Thanks, Waco. Yeah, well, hey, look, uh, you got a few minutes. Uh, girls. I think I'll take a rain check, okay? <laughs> Suit yourself, man. Suit yourself. All right, you can imagine a guy named Big Mac. I mean, it has to be written all over his face. A mug anyone could spot anywhere. Out of boy, you hit the whole bunch of. Fucking <laughs> yeah. good shot. Study, man. Twenty dollars says you don't make the next shot. You got it. Don't see Big Mac in here. No problem, I guess. Some harmless guys, a good game of pool, some cool talk. You watch me handle this one. You, uh, mind if I play at this table over here? That's Big Mac's table. He doesn't like strangers using it. Well, uh, Big Mac, he's a, he's a friend of mine. Oh, <laughs> in that case, help yourself to a cube. Thanks. You know Big Mac, huh? Yeah, a long, long time. He's a real sweet little guy. Yeah. Yeah, that he is. A real sweet little guy. Oh, you mother. The white ball, lady. It's a white ball. Now, I'll play with you. Last time I saw Big Mac was about three weeks ago. We were out with a couple of chicks. Oh, that Big Mac. <laughs> a real ladies man, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Big Mac. <laughs> Again. <laughs> You're all right. I like you. You hear that, Mullen? Shoot. I understand there's a lot of good looking chicks in this neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Blue eyes, brown eyes, six foot two, five foot two, you just name it, anything you want. What would you like? Well, uh, I hear there's a hot one by the name of Carrie Erskine. Carrie Erskine. What do 
I'd like to get my hands on him myself. Smith. You want to stay alive long enough to spend that dough Ferguson gave you? You better let Kelly alone. You understand? You understand? Peace, man. Peace. Ferguson's imports. I want to talk to Harris Ferguson. Mr. Ferguson ain't, uh, I mean, he isn't here. Well, what time will he be in? I don't know when he'll be back. Is there something I can do for you? Who are you? No, I'm in charge while Mr. Ferguson's out of town. Look, I need to talk to him. Well, look, he'll be back in a couple of days to close a deal. Catch him sometime on Monday. Thanks. Have a nice weekend. Hey, who is this? Who is here to tell me to have a nice weekend? The end of the first day, but it's with tomorrow that I wrestle now. And two falls out of three will name the winner, a poem by Charlie Smith. man said, you play it your way, I'll play it mine. That's uh, some genuine impartial advice from the real pro in this game. I mean, my whole life has been a movie, but I keep getting the reels mixed up. Just look what we've managed to do here already. So Charlie's made up his mind. He's either going to pull through or pull out. It's with today that I wrestle now, and I'm not alone. Charlie Smith is not alone today. coming in here and stealing my soap, using phony nickels and quarters, broke the machines, and you know, you can't pay rent with a phony quarter. So it's a wrap up. I'm just sitting here waiting now and uh, the water man come down and see the water's all cut off. Where are you going to go? I don't know that. Well, you got any money at all? Not really. Can I give you some? No, no. Come on, Coley, you've done me a lot of favors. Let me give you a couple of minutes. No, no, no. Come on, Coley. Thanks, Charlie. It's all right. Very kind of you, but... Coley, let me tell you something. Somebody offers you some money, take it. Come on. Okay? We're friends, huh? Come on. Okay? Thanks, Charlie. I won't forget this. I know you won't. Very nice of you. You got a place to stay? Yeah, I'll sit up the street with a friend. You're not kidding me. You really have a place. Yeah, I'll have a place, Charlie. Because if you don't, I got a boat by the pier, San Pedro. Oh, yes, sir. Well, that's why I'm mighty kind of you. I might just take you up on that sometime. Well, if you take care of yourself. Okay. All right? You do the same, Charlie. I'll stop by and see you in a day or so. Good. Okay, buddy. Good luck to you. Coley's one of the all-time greats. And the only one looking for him is somebody with a wooden quarter. Back to the list. A girl named Sean Call, an old friend of Kerry Erskine's. They used to dance together in a chorus line in Las Vegas. And now it's a bit questionable as to her trade. What do you want? I'm looking for Sean Call. That's me. What time is it anyway? Hmm? Don't you know it's kind of early to be banging on a girl's door? Well, it's, it's almost noon. I'm going down to check the mail. You can walk with me if you want. Well, I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm looking for a Miss Carrie Erskine. Do you know her? I uh, used to. Why? Well, you know how I could find her? No. 
Well, do you know anybody who knows where I could find her? No. Look, sweetheart, something tells me you know a lot more than what you're saying. Who are you? Smith. Charlie Smith. I'm what people call a private detective. A cop. I knew it. No, no, I am not a cop. I am a private detective. There is quite a difference. You don't look like a detective to me. I've seen movies. Hmm? Hmm? I guess there's not much you can tell me about Carrie Erskine, huh? Why don't you come back later? We could have more time to talk. Say long about tennis. Okay. 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 Nobody. Just a guy selling magazine subscriptions. Are you sure Ferguson didn't send him? You don't look right to me. Well, how am I supposed to know? Ferguson is your boss, not mine. Gary yours? I haven't heard her name in months. Take a look around, man. I got so many chicks, I can't keep track of them all. See what I mean? Thanks, doll. Anything else you'd like? Not right now. Well, anyway, I understood that you were her agent. Yeah, but in the movie business, you gotta have patience. All she cared about was making big money fast. Well, can you give me any kind of a lead at all? Yeah, check with Julie Richards. Julie Richards? Uh, she's an actress I used to handle. A real head. You can find her at, uh, 1235 Sunshine Terrace. What's the best way to get there? It's about four miles this way. Uh, just above Ventura Boulevard. Thanks a lot, Wade. Yeah. Save yourself a lot of bread. Yeah. Good. Well, if I'm going to save myself a lot of bread, Herb, you must be getting that stuff awfully cheap to undersell Frankie Roberts. Well, and you if you're getting that stuff awfully cheap, you got to be stealing it, old buddy. Who are you stealing it from? Your boss, Ferguson? Are you stealing it from Ferguson? What, what do I'm... you care who I'm stealing what it from? What do you care what I'm doing? As long as you're going to save yourself a lot of bread. What do I care, Herb? What? See this. Frankie Roberts did the damage right to my mouth. He knocked the tooth out. I like all the teeth in my mouth at all times. I'm missing one. I learned my lesson from Frankie Roberts. It's as simple as that. You got no guts. That's your problem, Frank. When it comes to Frankie Roberts, you better believe I don't have any guts. Beside that, Herb, why don't you just do yourself a favor? For once in your life, do yourself a favor, Herb. What? Give up. No, Herb, you're never going to make it. Give up. I can't talk to you anymore. You never could, Herb. No communication, Herb. None at all. You don't listen to a thing I say. Later, Fritz. Yeah. Julie? I was told you could help me find Carrie Erskine. Carrie? 
I know Carrie. When was the last time you saw her? About a week ago. Are you a bird? A what? A bird, you know. A bird? Birds fly. Do you want to fly? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. If you can fly, maybe you'll find Carrie. Okay. So make me into a bird? Right. I'll teach you to fly. It's really very easy. All you gotta do is spread your wings and go. And when you get good at it, you can swoop and turn and fly. <laughs> Roberts, her ex-boyfriend. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Are you alone? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say, so you only have a date tonight about 10 o'clock? Mm-hmm. Why don't we move it up to like 10? Mm-hmm. Oh, Carrie, it's 
kid. Mm-hmm. She is Miss Bad News of the Day. Why do you say that? Because. Huh? Mm-hmm. I don't she... want to talk about carriers. What, she... what does she have to do with Frankie Roberts? What does he do? <laughs> what does he do? I'll tell you what he does. <laughs> Frankie Roberts gets up in the morning and he reads the papers. You know, murders. Right? <laughs> yep, he news. He's a real swinger. You mean to tell me he doesn't know where she's at? Oh. A guy like that wouldn't know how to find her. <laughs> hmm? Well... Well, can you tell me where she's at? No. Don't miss what's ringing, please. Why not? Because... Why don't we get out of here right now? Come on. You want to leave? charge tonight ain't got nothing. You out on a run or what? I don't know. Has anybody been around looking for Carrie? I ain't seen nobody. I'll be back tomorrow. He ain't gonna be here tomorrow. He'll be here Monday. I'll need about 10 keys. 10 keys, 20 keys. You bring the money Monday. Ferguson is paying me, I wouldn't care if Thelma Banky lived here. Now what, what was that room number again? Someday I'm just gonna have to learn to write things down. Someday I'm just gonna have to learn to write. Well, uh, Seven's is as good as any. Would you like to earn $75,000? Oh, uh, that would be nice. Oh, uh, what to 
75,000. What do I have to do? The reason why Ferguson wants me is because I stole $150,000 worth of uncut heroin from him. That's a good enough reason. What does Ferguson do for a front? Furniture import. Why? Just curious. He must bring the stuff in from Mexico. Oh, he gets across the border in that bulky Mexican furniture. I was working for him for about a year before I found out. How did you ever get the heroin from him? Practice. Watching. Waiting. I played the sweet, efficient secretary in the outer office. Until late one evening, Ferguson and his strong men weren't around. So I took it. A hundred and fifty thousand dollars of pure, uncut heroin. Just like that? Not exactly. Well, you have the stuff, don't you? No. You've already gotten rid of it? No. Well, what happened? It was stolen from me. Stolen? By who? A pusher who was going to help sell it for me. He said he could get a good price. His name is Frankie Roberts. He said he would kill me or have me killed if I told Ferguson. And Ferguson's after me because he still thinks I have his heroin. Then you come along. I'm in the middle. I, I can't move. I'm all alone. I would part his journey. Honey, for $75,000 each, we are partners. Now, you just take me to Frankie Roberts. Okay? Over there under that pile of wood, in a brown satchel.
Roberts. Sure is. We better move.
In 24 hours. In 24 hours? What, what, what are we going to do for 24 hours? What do you think? Figure out who shot Frankie Roberts. Man, he must have been a good shot to shoot somebody that far away from him person. Ferguson a good shot? People just don't seem to do anything right. Some people just can't make the day worthwhile, not even one minute. It seems they don't even want to give it a try. The minute they wake up, if they wake up, they hit the bottle. They're not even cheating, they're just living so they can die. They all have different reasons for being like that. Well, I'm sure they're all good ones. We sell the stuff, we won't have any worries. I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about that. What do you mean? I mean that I don't want to wind up like Frankie Roberts. Why do you say that? Because uh, Ferguson will follow us in our little treasure chest here right across the seven seas. He'll never find us. I'm not going to give him a chance. I'm going to make him a deal. What kind of a deal? Fifty. Fifty. No. Yes. this house in about an hour. You want to come along? I'm going to suit yourself. Together we can destroy all the Fergusons in the world. Well, that sounds like something Cleopatra would have said. Why don't you wait for me at the hotel, okay? Whatever you say, Charlie. Whatever you say. Charlie Smith. Charlie Smith.
Cola, you gotta do me a favor. This bag. You're the only one I know I can trust. You gotta take care of it for me until I get back. I'm only gonna be gone a little while. So please, just keep your eye on it and don't let anybody have it, okay? Okay, John. I'll do that. I can trust you. I can depend on you. Positive. like Ferguson keeps a messy house. Now let's see, if I was Bogart, what would I do? Probably get the hell out of here. I somehow get the feeling someone didn't like Ferguson. I thought he was rather generous. I wonder why anyone would want to cut his throat. Well, one thing's for sure. Whoever killed him left all the doors open. Out, there's nothing like a cool drink to refresh your mind. I mean, this is getting to be like watching the Late Late Show on TV. Beer, pretzels, stiffs. The only thing is, I feel like I'm the movie and somebody's watching me. I guess it's about time to call Carrie.
Again, I don't know. Just gonna dumb you up, huh? Just one day without being confused, life would be much simpler. No! No! Nobody ever slashes me against it, will it? I'm gonna knock your brains out! Senator, it wasn't my fault! What the hell's going on here? Man, you're just a guy I've been looking for. somebody, he likes him, and he goes all the way with him. Just remember that, sweetheart. Now, when Big Mac says he likes someone, he likes him. Now, when he likes him, they can do no wrong. And Big Mac likes you. Yeah, he likes you a lot. Yeah, you like Big Mac? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
It's Sammy. Where are you? I look out your window. I'm across the street. What's on your mind? Have you got it? Well, listen, we can't talk on this phone. What's your number over there? Just a second. You got a pencil? Right Write this down. Go ahead. 276. Three, three, eight, eight. All right, I got it. talk now. Look, I want to talk to you about the stuff Ferguson picked up. We'll talk about that later. I got Brett working on it. Brett? Yeah, I saw him a couple hours ago, stoned out of his mind. Said something about cracking Carrie's head. So? He also said something about Carrie and Charlie Smith are making it together. Smith? Who's he? The only Charlie Smith I know is a private eye. Keep talking. He's got a big nose. You ever see any of those Bowery Boys movies? Remember the guy who played the dummy klutz? When I was a kid in Pennsylvania, I used to dream about having a whole wash tub full of money. All halves and quarters, just like a chest full of pirate silver. That would have been so heavy, you wouldn't have been able to lift it. I didn't want to lift it, and I didn't want to take it any place. I just wanted to sit in it and tell the other kids it was mine. I think I'd much rather sell the stuff than sit in it. Whispering footsteps. The girl who dared, fatal witness, the devil pays off. I live on danger. Who knows what evil lurks in the minds of men? Charlie Smith no more than Charlie Chan. Hey, have you ever seen this film that starts out on a scooter in Tahiti? And this guy walks in on the skipper one morning right out of the blue and asks him to help him find this great looking gal. It's a real classic. He lays three grand on the skipper, looks him right in the eye and says, find this girl. So the skipper starts to track her down. But one by one, the people involved are suddenly wiped out until the only ones left are the skipper and the girl he was sent out to find. Now he knows who killed everybody but one. And he's just trying to figure that out when the girl turns to him and says, I love you, Charlie. Right, you did kill Frankie Roberts. He was getting away with the bag. Right. He was no good. Right, but are we any better if we peddle the stuff ourselves? What do you suggest? Dump it and start doing our own thing. We don't need a mountain of snow to keep cool. The world's no picnic without money. Make a decision, Carrie. Me or the snow. What about me? I'll make the decision. It's my stuff. That's Big Mac, the kingpin, the master criminal, the big wheel. It's real cute, Smith. Real cute. Now I'll take those uh, two little packages of joy, uh, if you don't mind. I do mind. In that case, I'll have to break your little arm. Well, Carrie, baby, it's your turn to speak. It's now or never. Big Mac, you're out of the ball game. Which team am I on? My team, Charlie. What position? You're pitching. Oh, boy. Big Mac, you should have bought a ticket before you snuck in the park. 
Where, where, where are you going with that stuff? What, what's he going to do? Charlie! Charlie, what are you going to do in there? Ch Charlie! Charlie, come here for a minute. Let me talk to you just for a second. All right, listen. Get rid of the move. We can split it between ourselves. We don't need him. Charlie, blow that guy. You don't need him. Look, we can split it 50 50. One third and you keep one third and one third for me. That's nice and fair, isn't it? Look, we can get along. Keep 80 percent, give me 20. Just 20, 10 percent. Say something, give me 10 percent. The ball game's over and the home team is going home. Charlie, where's home? Anywhere I go. Me too. You too. You really are a pirate. Let's get out of here before we get contaminated. <laughs> I'm going to be around for a long time. <laughs> you know why? You know why, Smith? Because there's a sucker born every minute. Every single minute, and they need me. They need me! <laughs> Thank you.